All right, here we go. Segment number five here at Donovan Stanley Games of Carla's 200 subscribers special. And it's now time to play Family Feud with Old Meathead Louie Anderson. Welcome to the Family Feud. Okay. Backstage. All right. You gotta make a couple of choices here. First, pick your family. Family one, you have the space bar. Let's get this show on the road. Our first family hails from the Sunshine State, and they describe themselves as hungry and hilarious. Let's hear it for them. Family number one. They're from the Granite State, and they describe themselves as robust, but mostly loopy. Give it up for family number two. Family tomorrow. Our two We'll be doing battle for big bucks on the Family Feud. Here he is, the host of Family Feud, Louis Anderson. It's time for another exciting game of Family Feud. You know the drill. Right, 100 people did the survey. Top six one. answers up on the board. Good luck. Name a kind of business that wasn't around 100 a years ago. A kind of business that wasn't around 100 years ago. Ugh, this is not on the list either. Unless I type in kind of business. Oh, yes it is. This is on the list. No. Sorry about that. Family number one. Computer. I hope it's there for you. Let's see. Computers. Good. Our top answer. Way to go. Family number one. Are you gonna play or pass? I'm gonna play. play. Let's go. <laughs> First of the game. Let's the kind of business that wasn't around a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah. Is it there? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's it. it. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name Next a kind of business that wasn't around a hundred years ago. Show me that. All right, you got it. Got it. Next family member, what do you say? Video rentals. Name a kind of business that wasn't around a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah. Is it there? Yes, indeed. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> another player. Oh, need another answer. Video rentals kind of is a good answer. You'll be dead. Years ago. Ooh. Is it there? It came out of nowhere. Good answer, Nate. <laughs> Excellent. Next player, let's go. <laughs> Name a kind of business that wasn't around a hundred years ago. Oh. Is it there? Oh yeah! You sure nailed that one. Well, well done. done. Let's see how our families are doing after the first round. Family number one, you're playing great. Family number two, you're not far off the lead. 
All right, time for round two. I need two more players up here. Let's go. A hundred people surveyed. Top five answers up on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Name a subject you can't discuss without losing your temper. Without losing your temper. No. What do you think it is, family number one? Politics. Okay. I want to say... 60 grand in the bank, because we got that future meal that one bonus. Good. Good answer, number one. Family number one, are you going to play or pass? You're playing? Okay. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name a subject you can't discuss without losing your temper. Is it there? All right, that's it. Next player, let's go. Name a subject you can't discuss without losing your temper. Is it there? Show us. All right. Next family member, what do you say? Name a subject you can't discuss without losing your temper. All right. Let's see what's on the board. Excellent. You got it. Got it. Next player, what's your guess? Name a subject you can't discuss without losing your temper. All right, show me that. Good! An entire survey! That's terrific! Go 60 grand in the bank. Two rounds down, two more to go. brings us to the end of the second round. Let's check out the scores. You're building up a big lead, family number one. Hang in there, family number two. Let's move on to round three. I need two more players up here. Let's go. A hundred people serving. We got the top four answers. You just gotta give them to us. Give a synonym for prison. Seventy grand in the bank. No. Family number one. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Show me. Jail. Jail. Eighty grand in the bank. Yes, sir. you got Sorry. it. Our number one answer. Ninety. Family number one. Are you going to play or pass? 100 grand, don't play? play. Let's, Let's go. go. Please do for bonuses for that part. <laughs> what do you say? Give a synonym for prison. Slammer. So they said? Good Absolutely. Another player. We need another answer. Give a synonym for prison. Good answer. Good. Answer. Good. That's it. Next player, let's go. Give a synonym for prison. Penitentiary. We need an answer, please. Good All right. That one. Well done. 110 grand in the bank. Let's see how our families are doing after round three. You're building up a big lead, family number one. Hang in there, family number two. Let's move on to round four. 
it's still anyone's game. I need a couple more players. A hundred people serving top five answers players. up on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Hundred ten grand in the bank. Besides diapers, name something that new moms carry in their diaper bags. This is on the list. No. Okay, family number one. Bottle. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Show me. Bottle oh, formula. No. no. You got it. Right. The number one answer. Family number one. Are you gonna play? Hundred forty. Gonna play? Let's, Let's go. go. Another sweep. Next player. What's your guess? Besides diapers, so find something go. that new moms carry in their diaper bag. Is it there? I am gonna make Nate go second in fast money. You got it. Next player, let's go. Besides diapers, name something that new moms carry in their diaper bag. Is it there? Show us! Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Next family member, what do you say? Besides diapers, name something that new moms carry in their diaper bag. Is it there? They have $140,000 in the, the bag for Carla for the fast money. I'm hoping we win it for her. Yeah! You bet. Next player, what's your guess? And the last answer to send us the fast money. Something that the fire. Carry in their diaper bag. Yeah. Is it there? Yeah. All right. You should nail that one. one. Well, well done. done. Hundred and fifty thousand dollars are playing for in fast money. That takes us to the end of this round. Carlos, hey, Bank. let's check out the scoreboard. Well done, family number one. Nate goes second because he got good answers. Oh, what Louis. a game! Congratulations to both families. But going on to the fast money round is family number one. It's the fast money round. I need two players from your team. All right. Tara and Nate, get on deck. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. Who is the first person you told when you got engaged? Um, mother. We asked a hundred women. Name something you buy for your hair. Um, a brush. Name the month you think most American babies are conceived. Um, June. Out of ten wives, how many do you think are faithful to their husbands? Um, nine. Tell me something you <laughs> eat. <laughs> Stupid answer, Tom. <laughs> no. Uh, frost chocolate strawberries. <laughs> Let's take a look at your answer. Who was the first person you told when you got engaged? Here's your answer. Mother. Show it to us. 57. We asked a hundred women. Name something you buy for your hair. Here's your answer. Brush. Was it up there? Nothing! Mother got 57, which is really good. Name the month you think most American babies are conceived. Here's I your answer. I don't remember the number one answer to this. Was it up there? Oh. Oh God! <laughs> Come on, stop, stop. 
out of 10 wives, how many do you think are faithful to their husbands? You said, was it up there? Nine. Now the big one. Tell me something, something you eat too, too much of. of. Frost, you said, chocolate, strawberries, that got nothing. Our survey said. <laughs> <laughs> our next player needs 90 right, points to win the fast money bond and ten thousand dollars. We have our second player. Same five questions. Try to get the popular answers. If you don't know it, pass, and I'll get back to it if there's time. Uh, who is the first person you told when you got engaged? Uh, okay. Um, who was the first person you told when no. you got engaged? Uh, I'm gonna say father. Oh. That counts as parents. All right. Um. <sighs> no. I am going to say, um, friend. We asked a hundred women. Name something Shampoo. you buy for your hair. Name the month you think most American now babies are conceived. Now we're playing for one hundred sixty thousand dollars because Frost Chocolate Strawberries made the survey. <laughs> <laughs> the mo Name the month you think most babies are conceived. No. I'm going to say July. Out of 10 wives, how many do you think are faithful to their husbands? Um, I am going to say eight. Tell me something you eat too much of. No. Um, bread. Let's see how you did. Who was the first person you told when you got engaged? You answered... Friend. Let's see if it was there. 28. We asked a hundred women. Name something you buy for your hair. Here's one. your answer. Shampoo? Is it up there? 48! The number one answer. Way to go. Name the month you think most American babies are conceived. Twelve points for dollars Let's see if it was there. Oh, nothing for July. Out of ten wives, how many do you think are faithful to their husbands? I was going to say Here's your all answer. ten, but I don't think that'd be good enough. Let's see if it was there. Forty. Yes. Carla has just won $160,000. The number one answer. Way to go. Wow. Wow. $160,000. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks so much for playing Family Feud. I really appreciate That's it. That's a big win for Carla. Oh, I did. Yeah. I bet you Carla's going to be happy about that. All right, we'll see you soon for part six here at the Denny Games. Leave a like, subscribe, and visit my store at denigames.storeenvy.com.